To start creating drawing sheets from the views that are created in a Revit model, you first need to create a new sheet, place a title block on it, and then you can start dragging views onto the sheet. So to create the sheet, um, go up to the top of the window, click View, New, and drag down to Sheet. Uh, it opens up a dialog window that gives you uh, choices of title blocks to place on the new sheet. You can choose one here, or you can click the Load button uh, and bring in a new title block into the project. Once I click OK, it brings in a new sheet uh, and it shows in the browser window here under the Sheets category if I expand that. It's given us a new unnamed sheet. If I click in the work area and zoom in, I can double click on the number and change its number. I'll click in the white space to get out of that and I'll click on the text and change its name here. And click in the white space and get out, get that. Once I zoom out um, and I've named the sheet, I can then drop in a viewport uh, referencing in a view onto that sheet. To do that, uh, scroll up to the view that you want, uh, click and hold on the view, and drag over to the drawing, and then release the click, and then you can click again to place the viewport. Once you've placed the viewport, you can drag it into place, and you can change the size of the viewport by selecting it, um, going up to the size button in the, view, in the uh, options bar, click on it, and you can actually change that um, crop box. Hit apply and OK. You can also change uh, its crop box back in the original view that it's referencing to. To do that, I'll double click on the original view in the browser window, and it opens up a window of the original view. I can minimize that so we can see them both at the same time and then I'll tile it. And then hovering over the crop box um, or bringing up its visibility with this button down here, um, I can also start adjusting that crop box and it simultaneously adjusts it back in the drawing sheet. Uh, if I want to change the scale of the drawing, I actually need to do it back here in the original view um, in the bottom left corner of the window and I can change its scale right here. I'll click out of this window and go back to the sheet. While in the sheet view, um, you can also actually get into the, the view itself um, from this view if you need to start um, modifying the drawing. To do that, you just right click on the viewport and choose Activate View. And this will actually bring you back into the drawing itself and you can start modifying it while um, you can still see it on the sheet. Um, to get out of that mode, you just right-click again and choose Deactivate View. When you drop the viewport onto a sheet, um, it also will automatically bring a title with it. To change that title, it's actually um, associated with the viewport. So you'll actually need to click on the viewport itself, and then that will highlight the title. That'll give you the ability to uh, change its name. And any changes you make to it here will also um, simultaneously be affected in the, in the browser window. With the title highlighted, um, this will give you the, the handles on the ends, and you can drag and shrink this line um, to line it up with the view if you want. To actually just move the title around, um, click in the white space uh, to, get out of, to unselect the viewport, um, and you can actually just grab it independently. Um, to change its position. Finally, if you don't uh, want to see a title at all, um, its visibility is actually an attribute of the viewport itself. So you have to choose the viewport, go to its element properties in the options bar, click on it. You'll see show title is a type parameter. So you need to edit new again, and then you can toggle this off. Keep in mind, though, that this changes all viewports. So if you want some with a title and some without, you'll need to duplicate this viewport, rename it as no title, for example, and keep another viewport that has a title. That way you can swap out what type the viewport is with the pull-down menu.